Hello beautiful Cancers, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. We're getting your overall energy for your love reading. Let's see what we have. This is patience, foggy bog. So there might be something that you can't see very clearly right now with foggy bog, but we have patience as a key to that. Aspen spirit, courage, okay, patience and courage. And let's pull one more card for you for the overall energy. We have stillness, reflecting pool. Okay, time to think something through. So let's look and see what the overall energy, see what's going on in the love lives of our beautiful Cancer friends. I'm going to move this right over here. So hope everyone's doing well. Let me know. I always like to know where everybody's from. So I always say, send me love from Chicago at the end. <laughs> send some back and tell me where you're from. So that's always fun. I used to travel globally for my career. So it is a lot of fun to know where all of you are from. Okay. So Cancer, what do we have here? We have three of swords. Ouch. Okay. So that is the energy in the recent past for you. Somebody has really broken your heart. All right, what's going on? Four of coins. Many of you are working to hold on to the idea of the relationship. Um, you're still holding on to this person. You know, it does say, you know, that you have a lot of patience. The star card, nice energy. So the way the future is going to unfold, Cancer, is that your hopes and dreams for love are going to come true and right now you're having a tendency to just hold back and take a wait and see attitude beautiful energy we have the lovers card so the lovers card tells me that you have a soulmate with whom you are probably in separation right now we have the nine of swords remorse and regret about something i feel very much that your person is thinking about you right now cancer that whoever you came whoever this three of swords person is looks as though they think very highly of you when they think of you they think that you are a rock star as a human being you know the nine of swords is about losing sleep your person looks like they've been losing sleep they look like they have had remorse and regret over whatever caused this heartache the page of cups speaks to the fact that you have a brand new love coming in you actually have more than one person here this energy of the page of cups is somebody who may be younger than you somebody new in your energy uh, in terms of relationship we we see this person is not very grounded but they are charming and they have a crush on you for sure Oh, Cancer, the tower, what is going on here? So whatever happened came out of the blue and was quite unexpected. The tower is when a foundation is not sturdy in a relationship and things fall apart. It's an argument. It's something that comes out of the blue. So the, it's like a lightning bolt. You just don't see it coming. Spirit is saying that someone is tracking you right now, that someone is paying very close attention to you, they're looking at you or they're trying to find you on social media, they could be driving by your house. But Spirit is also saying that the person that you were involved with did not have your better, your greatest good at heart, that they were selfish somehow. The Seven of Swords is when someone's selfish with you. They take from you and Spirit is saying, step away. Okay, so let's see what your short-term outcome is. Nine of Wands, fire in your belly. So you still have fire in the belly. Let's look and see what's going on with your person here. So we're going to clarify these cards. I did not look at the bottom of the deck. What was the energy? Okay, Hermit card. Hermit card, thinking a lot about somebody that you feel played you, but this person does love you. So the King of Cups energy tells us that they love you, but they never gave you a commitment. Okay, so let's look and see what's going on. Okay, so the Three of Swords card, what is that Three of Swords about? What did your person do to bring the Three of Swords about? What's going on? What's the backstory to that Three of Swords for our Cancer friends? Three of Swords is usually a breakup, usually comes out of the blue, um, but it does look like your person is very regretful. 
So let's see what we have. Hierophant. Okay, so many of you were told that either you found out somebody was married or you found out that they were considering getting married or that they were became newly engaged. So it does look like the Three of Swords is having lost someone to another committed relationship. A committed relationship that's going to a higher level. So what we have, we also have the Five of Wands. So you had competition, third party situation, and the tower came down. Look at that, the Magician card. You feel as though this person tricked you, that they didn't really, you know, they didn't disclose everything. And the Nine of Wands, you still have fire in your belly for this person. In the reverse, the, fire of wand, the uh, Nine of Wands is like not willing to give up. So you do still have fire in your belly. The Queen of Swords, though, energy coming in right now is that you're really getting very tired of this sense of waiting or having justice. That's a Libra Queen. So you're very much looking at this person as if to say, really, you've got to be kidding me. The Six of Cups, you do want a reunion with them, and they want a reunion with you. But again, this, is, this Seven of Swords is some of the most nefarious energy in the deck. It's like somebody who will you know who's dishonest to the core so the eight of cups shows that currently the two of you are walking away from each other that there's a there's a comfortableness with the separation at this point the seven of cups reverse says that whatever illusions or fantasies you may have had are not any longer something that you're considering the Queen of Wands is speaking to the fact that Cancer, you're coming in very strong. Nine of Cups, your wish fulfillment. So Cancer, what I'm seeing is it looks like somebody's coming in that's new. Uh, when we got the Page of Cups over here, but we see Six of Cups, somebody's going to come back from the past, somebody you want. Uh, but we also see you less and less willing to talk to that person. So we have, you know, we actually have the six, the seven, the eight, and the nine of cups. So you're going towards your happiness, but your happiness appears to be in a different place than you originally thought it was going to be. So whatever you thought about this person from the past, it looks like you're very much rethinking that. The star card speaks to a new person coming in with love. We have the very dashing Knight of Cups. So that's Piscean energy. This person's coming in. You don't see it coming. It comes as a big surprise. And the Three of Cups, this person may be somebody who you consider a very good friend, somebody who you know through friends, but you have a new opportunity coming in after a long period of suffering from, you know, somebody who really was unkind, it looks like. The lover's card for you, Cancer, soulmate, okay, so you feel right now your person and you, are, I don't think are speaking because this man is sleeping, it's a world card, it's the end of a very successful cycle, but here, see what I have is, I feel like this person's pretending to sleep, but I feel as though they're going to communicate with you. Now, the question is, is will you want their communication? So I'm seeing that you'll listen to them if they tell you a story that makes sense. If there's some sort of backstory to this, the Six of Swords, you know, they really want to move out of trouble with you. They want to, your person from the past, the soulmate person, definitely wants to move forward with you. And it also speaks to the fact that you may have lived together or you may live together in the future. But the Nine of Swords, I, I would really say this, there's a big cautionary tale to this reading, is that trusting the wrong person is going to hurt you. So the Nine of Swords reversed. Oh, nice. The Nine of Swords upright is clarified by the Nine of Swords reversed. So there are some days that you come in and out of this feeling like, okay, I can let it go. Other days you don't. But your person is having remorse and regret about what they did with you. Tell us more about that spirit. The Death card, though. The Death card is clearly an ending here to this sadness you know you're putting an end to the sadness you certainly are looking for your person for the future 
Very complicated reading here, Cancer. Very painful. It looks very painful. So leave comments below, please. This is Cancer. Here you are in your reading now. We have the High Priestess. You intuitively know that the person you're dealing with is a very stubborn person. The Emperor is always very strategic. They always want to be large and in charge. And right now, Cancer, there you are again in your reading. So in your heart space, you really love this person, but it, you know your your conclusion right now seems to be that there's no doubt they stabbed you in the back, because now you know we're going from the seven of swords. We have the the ten of swords. It, just a lot of swords here. Nine of swords. So it looks as though you're coming through a period of great difficulty, Cancer. It looks as though you know you having the courage is so important here. Why do we have the Page of Cups? Who's coming in with this offer of love? Tell us something about this person. Let's see. We have somebody who's going to invest, somebody who's probably younger. Oh, Cancer, look at that. So you do have someone around you who wants to, excuse me, this is Pisces energy, but this is happily ever after. This is having a family. Whether you have children or not makes no difference, but somebody younger wants to invest in this relationship with you and have a uh, live in a family marital type, you know, relationship. So let's see, tell us something more about this Ten of Cups for our Cancer friends. The King of Swords, it could be someone who is an engineer, someone who's a police officer, somebody who's a lawyer, surgeon, medical professional. But the King of Swords is somebody who thinks of things logically and stays calm, cool, and collected, right? In the surgical suite, there's no crying, but he has a big sword to heal. So your person is going to be very logical. They're going to be very calm in the calm of the storm. They really can heal your wounds. I mean, there's a real strong sense here that this person wants to step in and heal your heart. The Ace of Swords says that whatever is hidden between you and the person in the past is very clear at this time, that you are in the energy of just accepting it. You're single, ready to mingle. The Eight of Coins, you're really ready. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. It's early in Chicago. It's, it's before 6 a.m. I'm so sorry about the, uh, <laughs> the, the Mercury retrograde convo. Okay, so your person is, you really want to work on your own life, your own stability. You have clarity. You go from the eight of coins to the nine of coins. There's a part of you with this Virgo energy that just says that you're okay being alone, certainly for a while. You know, it's this is so much about healing for you. So let's see. Now, when this when this spread ends, I'm going to go look at thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions of the person of interest. So it's a two-part reading, just so you know. Okay, so what do we have here for the Seven of Swords? The Seven of Swords is clarified by the King. Remember, we saw the King of Cups in the bottom of the deck. So your person loved you, loves you. They still love you but they are not very honest, not very straightforward. They're keeping, they're hiding a lot of secrets. You know, Spirit is just saying that this person has hurt you in the worst way and that Spirit is advising you not to go back into this relationship. Leave it alone. You know, it doesn't matter if the person loves you or not, if they treated you in this manner that you have to really think about it anyway. You know, Spirit is just making an, a suggestion. Take it or leave it. Um, but it does speak very loudly to the fact that Spirit is saying this person is, you know, could do it again. But you have two people around you. You have a Leo and you have a, a Scorpio energy here, whether it's her sign or not. Page of coins, it looks like you do have fire in your belly. You're looking at your future. You're really sort of looking at things. Look at the soulmate energy again. You have two soulmate energies here. So this is just not finished. This is very much sort of this unfinished situation because you have this lover's card repeating. I feel as though this lover comes back. I feel as though they try to convince you to, you know, have relationship with them again. But this is a very specific story. And this is not going to be the love story for most Cancerians. I will say that. 
this is very much a specific love story that I'm seeing. What do we have? Seven of Wands. So trying to just sort of keep yourself together, being defensive, not letting people in. Yeah, the Five of Swords, you're just not really able to trust right away. Now, you did have the Star card twice, right? I believe we have the Star card here. So the star card is hopes and dreams for love coming true. So what I'm seeing for you, Cancer, is that whoever this is that hurt you, that that really, really sets you sort of upside down on your head, uh, this person's going to come back around. Spirit's not a big fan of this person. You are soulmates, certainly. Um, so you're going to have to make a decision. And the star card suggests that you make a decision that is for your spiritual highest good. So that's the energy because we have the foggy bottom, patience, waiting for this person to come in to see what they say. But the courage also to go on without them as well as just sort of staying still here in this energy uh, and letting things unfold naturally. So that is a complicated, complicated situation. So thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions now, it may be connected to this reading, but it could be picking up the energy from a different part of the collective that's watching. So let's take a look. Let's see what we have here. My editor has broken, <laughs> which is um, part of the Mercury retrograde. So normally I would edit this out for you, but we'll just work through it. And I appreciate your time, and I so appreciate your views and your subscribes and your likes and all of that stuff. So let's see what we have. Okay. So thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions of your person. Let's see. Thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions for cancer friends. One more shuffle for cancer. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, somebody walking away. The seven of cups reversed. Clarity. Oh, Empress. You have this beautiful Empress energy. Okay. So what are their thoughts for you? They think of you as a person that they've been the happiest with, Cancer. We have the King of Cups. They see you as a person who is very, very much like a death, uh, what did they say that in marriage? Till death do us part. Scorpio energy, you know, that you have fire in your belly, that when you love somebody, it's forever. Uh, but your person also thinks, too, that they left you out in the cold. I do think this is a message from earlier because we have the, the uh, repetition here of cards. So when we look at the King of Cups, we see somebody who truly loves you, but they left you out in the cold, sort of put you on the curb. And um, and the Sun card right here speaks to the fact that you that's the happiest card in the deck, that whatever the sensuality, the laughter, the joy that the relationship brought is still very much with this person. The Wheel of Fortune in their heart space, they are waiting for timing to be right to come towards you. Here we go. Cancer, they're coming in very fast. Honey, I'm home. I love you. I want you here. You know, so they are chasing after you at the right time. The Four of Wands, your person really feels in their heart space that you're the person for them. So it's really interesting when we do a two-part reading. It can radically change either the original reading or the new one. Um, but look at that Four of Wands. That's also Twin Flame, 1111. Uh, so in their heart space, they totally love you. They want you. They feel lucky to know you. They. This is a card, Cancerian energy. You know, that's all about you, Cancer. Honey, I'm home. Honey, I'm home. And the Four of Wands, you know, living together, being married, you know, having a long-term committed relationship. So your person's intention is to make a clear-cut decision with you. Aw, Cancer, look at this. Your person wants to give you everything. They want to give you a beautiful home. They want to make you feel very secure. This is a Taurus king, you know, the, the person who really, everything that they value, you embody everything that this, this person values. So when we look at the Three of Wands, that's their intention to choose you. And let's see what the outcome is in terms of their actions. So they're quiet right now. Cancer, here you are in your reading. They cannot stop thinking about you. That's 
like really clear is that your person cannot stop thinking about you here we have pisces energy lance romance coming in we have two we have the chariot card rushing towards you and now we have this card this it's almost like he's driving by your house looking in the window to see if you're there he she you know there's no sex and tarot but look at that your person is waiting they're trying to look at things from a different perspective but they're definitely coming towards you with a romantic offer and they're they want to have their fun with you they want to but the you know i'm going to say the nine of cups one more cup and you're married it's happily ever after so the nine of cups is a very important card it's like your very best friends the people who would come to your wedding the people who and family who you're most most invested in so your person very much is going to choose you but they're going to have to wait to see if you choose them back so cancer that is your reading thanks so much for joining me sending you love from chicago send some back tell me where you're from thank you